So Danny, the uh, bank holiday weekend saw two very different results. However, it must always be pleasing as a striker to get off the mark early doors. Yeah, um, yeah. Obviously, with the quick turnaround of Monday's game, I've forgotten about the high, highs of Saturday. Um, so, but um, yeah, it's nice to get off the mark, um, get, get on the score sheet, and then um, go from there. But obviously, there's a lot of uh, work stuff that we need to do um, to get our season up and running as well um, and obviously we're looking forward to doing that this weekend. I haven't spent so much of a season playing with just 10 men so far, the Yellow Army arguably haven't seen the real Torquay United so far, that must be very frustrating. Isn't it? Yeah definitely, um, it's, obviously Saturday was a great performance in, 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 with everything given. Um, and we've looked, and we were looking forward to building on that for Monday. Um, obviously, Monday didn't quite go to plan. And obviously, we were down to ten men again, and, and obviously found ourselves behind. Um, and took a few whacks. I don't know. <laughs> Got some war wounds to still show for it at the moment. But um, yeah, it's uh, it was disappointing to obviously take the positives from Saturday and not not build on that. But um, yeah, there's definitely uh, plenty of things for us to look forward to this, this season and plenty of uh, stuff for us think, to uh, build off uh, this weekend and for the rest of the season. Despite there being a, quite a few new additions to the squad this summer, there's still the bulk of the side that did so well last season. So the lads don't have to turn around too far to find plenty of experience how to, to get things right. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, we've got a lot, lot of the squad that of last year and uh, a lot of players that have um, been uh, successful over, over the years and, and experience enough experience in our team to get the new lads um, up to speed and, and, and not let the start affect us to, uh, too much going going forward. We know there's plenty of positives for us to build on. Um, we've got the, ex the experienced players, like you say, uh, from last year to help everyone realise that and, and get us going and make sure we're mentally prepared for this weekend and um, we'll, can get everyone in the place that we need to be in to make sure we get the, get the points and the performances to get us get, get us going. Now with so many other sides in the division splashing the cash this summer, not many people were talking about talking about being promotion contenders before the start of the campaign. That's quite unusual for a team that went so close last year. Yeah. Um, however, with that uh, uh, being the case, we're only three games in. If we're going to be under the radar, is that something that can actually work in our favour, do you think? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, um, I think it's inevitable with the, um, the money that people have been flying around that there's going to be um, teams more in the limelight than us, I would say. Um, even though how close we were last year and still having a lot of the players from last year on board. Um, yeah, I look, even people have put us the favourites or, or not it doesn't really affect me so much it, the younger lads I suppose might feel um, the effects of sort of uh, favouritism or, or not or under the radar like you say but I guess that's experience with uh, with the with us in the squad and um, that we can uh, bring that offer that to the younger younger lads and the, and the new lads coming in but yeah obviously with the results of last year um, it'll be nice to sneak under the radar this year and uh, and surprise a few of the so-called big hitters this year and um, there's definitely uh, a few teams giving it a go um, it'll be nice to sort of sneak under there and, and, and achieve what we didn't quite achieve last year doing it a different a different way this year